Hello everyone and welcome back to MathMod. In this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation and you can see we have a lot of different bases, we have a lot of axes and on the first side this equation is a real hard one because it's not like a one base and not like one x, we have a lot of axes, we have a lot of bases. And how can we solve this interesting equation? So I want to show you a really good trick how can we solve it. Take a look right here, we have 2 to the power x. If we multiply it both sides by this 2 to the power x, if we multiply by it. From here if we can cancel it, but on the left side we will have the next one. We will have 3 to the power x times 2 to the power x and on the bottom we will have 4 to the power x and equal to 5 times 2 to the power x equal to 2 to the power x. We just multiply both sides by this 2 to the power x. So as you can see right here we multiply it, so nothing change. And right here we multiply by this 2 to the power x. From here we can easily cancel this 2 to the power x. But right here, what can we do with this, with this case? Right here we can of course rewrite this, this 4 to the power x in the next case as 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x. And I wanted to write this denominator, this denominator will have 3 to the power x times 2 to the power x equal to 5. So we just write this as 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x. And right now we can easily cancel this 2 to the power x because this is the same. So what equation will have as a result? As you can see nothing hard because we will have really good equation. We will have 3 to the power x over 2 to the power x equal to, equal to 5. And I hope you understand this step because uh, we can write this as 4 to the power x equal to 2 times 2 to the power x, which is equal to 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x. This is about this step, if you don't understand this step, why I write this as 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x. So let's go to this, to this equation. We need to know a really good rule. If we have a to the power x divided by b to the power x, so if we have the same powers and different bases, we can write it as a over b all raised to the power x. So we can easily write this one as 3 over 2, so 3 half all raised to the power x equal to, equal to 5. So I hope you understand this step. So how can, we, how can we solve this right now? We have x right here and it's really good to take natural log from both sides. If we take natural log of this expression, 3 half to the power x equal to natural log 5. And we all know the, the main log property that x jump right here in the beginning. So as a result we can easily write that x times natural log 3 half equal to natural log 5. This is, this is a constant, this is a constant, so we can easily divide these parts by natural log 3 half and we will have only our x, because from here we can easily cancel it, and our x will be equal to natural log 5 divided by natural log 3 half. And this is our answer. Nothing hard in this equation, just really good. Uh, real, this is a really good equation, because we'll remember about a lot of rules, really good rules. Right here, really good moment to remember this. Right here is really good case, taking natural log from both of the side natural log property. So as for me it's a really good equation. But if you still have any question, write a question in comment, it will be really instant to read it. And of course thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.